It's a wonderful day in the homie hood. A wonderful day for a homie. Won't you be my homie to Taro? I had testicular cancer, or at least I thought I had testicular cancer. And uh, back in January, it was the reason that I started streaming, actually, was because um, I've been wanting to do this for a really, really long time, is to be a, sh a streamer and a content creator. And I found out in January um, that I had testicular cancer. And uh, almost immediately, like within uh, two weeks of finding out, um, I had surgery to remove, uh, let's just say, the tumor. Um, and I thought, you know, that sucked. That was also scary in its own right. And uh, I was, of course, hoping that that would be the end of the story. Um, so a part of having cancer or certain types of cancer is that you go for your checkups um, during certain times or whatever. So I went and I got my CAT scan, as maybe some people remember. Um, I had to end stream early the other week um, because I had to go get my CAT scan. And uh, the CAT scan, unfortunately, showed... Um, that the the cancer even though it was removed had already spread um to my lymph nodes or a lymph node i don't know they don't even like tell you it, I, all i just know is that um you know i still have uh cancer um lymph nodes are a lot trickier than uh testicles let me tell you um mostly cuz they're inside you they're part of a network of other lymph nodes and uh you can't just you can't just take one out i don't think and it's well it's certainly not advised so um what that means is that um i will be starting tuesday undergoing chemotherapy um doing three cycles of chemotherapy over nine weeks and um it's going to be rough it's it's a pretty intense treatment as i'm sure you know many people are are aware of um it's nothing to like joke about um although i'm probably going to joke a little bit about it but hey i'm going through it so i get to um and it's going to be really a really intense period of my life so um i have cancer i have cancer and this treatment has a very high rate of success so i have like you know they throw around numbers but it's like a 95% uh chance of success of this treatment completely getting rid of the cancer um, for the rest of my life, um, or something like that. I don't know if that's the exact stat, but a 95% chance that I will survive past five years, which usually if you make it past the five year mark, then you basically have, uh, continued, uh, living your life. So my urologist even went so far as to say 99% chance of success. So it's always hard to know who is being, uh, optimistic. And who is being nice? Um, thank, thank you, Higsby. Best believe we are going to be here to joke along with you and get serious with you all along the journey. Yeah, I really appreciate that, uh, Higsby. And, uh, you know, it's been a weird ride of emotions. Like yesterday, I felt almost perfectly fine. The day before that, I was completely uh, self loathing and today seems like a mix of somewhere in between so um i think i'm kind of preparing myself to um not know um yeah and as sunny side up is saying here um she is uh protecting my homie tutaro at all costs so 
um you know what chemo is full of like unknowns so i'm going through basically um three months of my life where uh a lot of shit is gonna happen um basically i'm pumping some some super poisons into my body in order to destroy the cancer and um i'm going to lose my hair among other things if you know me then you or you've ever you know seen me swimming in the autonomy river um in the summertime you know i'm a bit of a hairy beast um possibly even the hairiest of all the beasts that i know um so it's going to be very bizarre although hair loss is kind of like least of your worries when it comes to side effects um there's a lot of potential for um kidney kidney problems or skin problems i can lose my hearing in some cases i can um oh god i don't know there's so, so many other things oh blood clots um insomnia um obviously nausea and not being able to eat um or not having an appetite so um you know hair loss is kind of like going to be the fun one i think because i get to go from being the hairiest beast um to being a hairless a hairless cat um which is uh is kind of funny body waxathon on stream i was thinking of just shaving my head on stream i don't think i was going to do the whole 40 year old virgin uh waxing but uh you know i'm going to i'm going to it's going to be weird because like i feel like i'm going to wake up in the morning some mornings and have to like vacuum the whole bed or there's literally going to be like an outline of like where I was sleeping and like surrounded by body hair. So it's very strange. Never knew you were part of the X-Men. True. I know. Um, I will become a mutant. Uh, and I am decide deciding what to go as for Halloween since, you know, we are in the season of costumes. Presumably, by the time Halloween comes around, I'm going to be... Oh, beast! Well, I'm going to look more like Professor X uh, in, in a couple weeks than I look uh, like Beast. Um, but, you know, I've been kind of trying to decide. Should I go as Professor X? Should I go as Charlie Brown? Should I go as Avatar Aang, as my, my good friend suggested? So I have a lot of, I have a lot of options. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go from Beast to uh, Professor X. But hopefully I'll be able to walk. I know if you watch this stream, you might not realize it, but I do leave this chair um, sometimes. So um, it's really scary, you know, and uh, there's nothing I can really do except to uh, be brave and try to prepare myself, I think, mentally. Um, there's I've only got to try and take it easy till I get back to normal. <laughs> Thank you for the uh the follow. And I've already updated the follow um and subscribe alerts because uh I am hoping to I am hoping to uh continue streaming. Thank you. Uh I wor I worked hard on the setup over the past uh, couple weeks. But uh I am hoping to continue streaming a little bit if i have the energy um while i'm going through chemo i actually don't know um how i'm gonna feel so i'm not really making any promises i'm not sticking to any schedule and uh i'm not um i'm not doing any interviews um either so um because if i schedule an interview and i'm like hey i don't feel good today uh i'm just gonna like feel bad um, if I do schedule any interviews, though, they will probably be other, with other people I know who are going through cancer or have been through cancer. Um, because I think, obviously, this is like 
going to be the most important issue in my life right now, even though I'm still going to be uh, your favorite uh, Peterborough socialist streamer. Um, and, you know, if I do have enough energy to make fun of uh, people and roast them about their bad political takes, then I'm going to, I'll do my best. But of course, not making any promises. Um, MK, thank you. On a serious note, uh, you'll be really thinking of uh, both of us from uh, you and Johnny. Thank you so much. You know, it's going to be um, a wild time. Um, the good news, I guess, is that it'll there's like an end. There's already like an end in sight. It hasn't even really begun, um, but there will be an end in sight. And uh, I'm taking time away. So if you are watching this and you're trying to book the Gordon Best Theater, um, please know that um, I'm probably not going to respond um, beyond Tuesday. If you've already sent me a message, like I know MK has via Instagram, I will get back to you and put you in the calendar. But beyond Tuesday, I'm trying to pass over uh, all my responsibilities. And uh, not only that, but my partner is uh who has been like amazing and is amazing and super supportive um she's taking time off work um so that we can get through this and um there will be someone to take care of me 24 7 if i need it and uh you know um it's gonna be weird and uh you know, it'll be uh, a different a different life than the one we've kind of uh, been uh, planning for. So um, this is the moment where I say, um, you know, I started, I was, we were talking about whether we should start a GoFundMe or not because, you know, I'm, I'm losing the money from some of my jobs because uh, obviously I have to just focus on health and um my partner is losing most of most of the money from her job but there are some compensations that you can get for taking uh caretaker leave but i decided to instead of doing a gofundme which is the most popular way to do this stuff um we're just doing ko-fi because um our friend and the mod of the channel higsby um donated uh, some money last night and Ko-Fi takes a 0% cut. Um, whereas, uh, GoFundMe takes like a 3% cut. So we talked about it a lot, whether it's something we should do. And a lot of people have been asking like how to support. So it's kind of lame and I do feel kind of weird about it. Um, but, uh, I started, a, a fundraiser for, uh, $10,000. Um, and here's Nightbot coming through and saying, become a member on Ko-Fi or make a one-time contribution to the channel, which is, you know, uh, probably should update that to say, uh, please like help me survive, uh, chemotherapy and cancer. Um, and I, I, I do want to stress though, that like, please only support, uh, financially if, um, it's within your means and if it's not within your means then don't worry about it like um it really is just something that like uh will ease a bit of the burden but uh, um if we don't reach the goal we're still going to be okay and uh we have like family members that we can lean on as well so again only if you can uh only if you can uh if it's within your means then you can support me in this way. Um, and if you all want to support in other ways, um, well, as you know, um, I've been wanting to go on this journey of being a content creator. So um, part of that is, uh, part of that recently has meant like starting up my presence on YouTube. Um, and if you want to support in other ways, you can, um, subscribe to me on, or follow me on Twitch and subscribe to me on YouTube. 
You can watch some of my videos. In order to become a partner for, for YouTube, um, which is my goal, and it would be great to kind of like have like a goal at the, and know that, you know, I'm just putting my dreams on hold during this time and not abandoning them, abandoning them altogether. So, um, in order to become a YouTube partner, you need to get, uh, 4,000 hours of watch time and a thousand subscribers, which sounds like a lot, but uh, I really don't think it's like an unreachable goal. And at the rate that I was already going, like in my first week of being a YouTuber, I got like over a thousand views. Um, you know, I, I'm, I was pretty committed to making content every day, which is kind of what it takes. And I want to get back that life. Um, and, um, if you want to support me, you can help me reach the 4,000 hours because I feel like that's a really hard goal to, to reach. So just even watch a video or get your friends who, if they, you think that they might be interested in my YouTube, you know, there's no point getting people to subscribe if they're not interested, but getting them to follow me or, um, subscribe on YouTube, like, um, it would be really encouraging for me, I think, to, uh, to know that things are still, are still gonna go on. What's the YouTube? Drop it. All right. Like it's hot. There it is. Um, it's out of date, but it says that we are going to start streaming when we get a thousand subscribers, but we already started, uh, on YouTube. So, um, we're gonna, we already started. Um, and you know, um, really any form of support, like even just being here right now, I feel supported. And, um, one other thing that I can't really stress enough is that, um, you know, if you would like to, new donation from MK John Yuda, home Euphoria. Oh, wow. Thank you, MK and John. Um, remembering now that I updated the, uh, voice to be a Japanese woman. Um, so you are the home, you're the homie for real MK and John. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, and you know, I don't really want to like push the, uh, the donation thing much, but, um, Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, you know, um, we're going to just keep going. The great news, right, is that um, we're going to get through it. So it'll, it's just like a really difficult road uh, to recovery. And uh, hopefully there's no side effects. I'm just, I'm really mostly worried about like the really bad side effects. Like, for example, some of the stories I've read, getting like a blood clot or something as a side effect and then having to have surgery to get the blood clot removed. I'm like, oh, that, that sounds like not a lot of fun when you're already in a lot of uh, agony. So I'm really just hoping for the best. I hope that I have enough energy to keep streaming and uh, just play video games through all of this. So, um, oh, yeah, what was I saying? If you really want to uh show solidarity with me also um I would it would mean a lot to me if uh you wore a mask in public because like during this time I'm while undergoing uh chemotherapy um I'm going to be Im immunocompromised like I'm going to take every precaution I'm basically going to be on house arrest for 3 months um, I really, really don't want to get COVID, um, during this time. Um, and we also live in a place where I don't know if you know, but, uh, Peterborough Public Health has announced now that, um, um, Peterborough is like the worst, one of the worst places in Ontario in terms of, uh, COVID. So that, 
really fucking sucks, you know? Basically, I'm going into a, a period of my life where I'm, like, going to be very fragile, immunocompromised, and we've made a conscious choice as a collective society to allow this disabling virus, rehabilitating virus to spread. And often, you know, I'm the only person in a room full of people wearing a mask. I've never stopped masking during this time, not just because I had cancer, but um, because you never know who is uh, going to be immunocompromised. And it could be any one of us at any moment. At any moment, you could get the news that you might have to also undergo um, a surgery or or seek uh, treatment for something um, or that you might not be as in good health as you think you are. So the ultimate solidarity um, that you could show with me um, would be really just to like wear a mask in the community and be safe and don't get COVID and stay home if you're sick and um you know do all of the things and i'm genuinely worried I, that's one of the things that probably has me uh most worried is uh that I've got to try and take it easy till i get back to normal <laughs> oh yeah get your damn vaccines get get the bible and vaccine if uh if that's what it takes uh oh thank you the seda for following um yeah, you know, I'm not eligible for the bivalent vaccine before I get I start chemo. Um, but um if you if you are then then get it, you know, like um COVID has been vastly like underplayed how serious it is. And I know if you subscribe to this channel or if you watch me regularly, I pretty much go on a rant about like once every week about it. Um and uh it's it's real and it's at a point where uh in my life it could like actually if i were to get it during this uh this next three months when i'm very fragile it could uh have very severe consequences you know it could fucking kill me and i really don't want to die um in fact it would be really stupid to get chemo um, because the whole point is to not die and go through, uh, the pain that is, um, uh, this very harsh treatment in order to go on and live a long and healthy life. So before I start crying, I'm going to end this rant. I'm going to probably post this to YouTube as my, uh, final video for a while, um, that I share there. Um. There's a lot of fun news that I wish we were talking about, but um, we'll save that uh, for when I have more capacity, um, whether that's before the weekend is over because I'm not seeing anyone for Thanksgiving giving and I might get bored. Um, or if that means in four months when I'm fully uh, back to normal and I've kicked cancer's ass. Will I still be smoking? I've already quit smoking weed. Um, but uh, I grew a bunch of weed over the summer that I need to probably uh, give away now um, or maybe give to a friend who can make me. It's all CBD. Um, depending also on how the chemo goes, um, I might get edibles, like CBD edibles to help with uh, the nausea and uh appetite so you can make it into salves thanks mk if you have capacity you know i got a i have like four plants wink wink the legal limit um yeah there's definitely ways to uh to use it for um other other ways than like smoking it which is obviously the most like cancerous way um to ingest it so um yeah i'll still be i've already quit i've already quit blazing mostly so actually so that i could have a uh, very clear thinking when i uh when i do my political analysis here on stream but um 
and I'm I also am as much as I hate to admit it, I am better at video games when I'm not stoned. Um, although it's more fun when you are stoned. Anyways, thank you all. Like I'm gonna do my best to uh accept help during this time, and I hope that we can uh all be <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see about that. We still have to brawl. You know, if there was a convenient way to play Brawl um, online, I definitely would. But um, my friends, a couple of my friends have suggested uh, multiverses, multiverses as a way to uh, get in your uh, Smash Bros. fix for free and uh, online. But, you know, yeah, 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 I get that. Who are you, Deflow Guns? Deflow Guns. I don't... I, I obviously know you, um, but I don't recognize your username. Um, oh, it's Alfred. Oh, I should have, I could have, um, got, I could have got the AO guns, but I, it was the Durf, the Durfel that threw me off. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, bro. Durfla, Durfla. Is Alfred spelled backwards? God damn it. If only I had like the mind of a uh a puzzle maker. Alfred Guns. Okay, let's go. Um so you know, I'm gonna do my best because like now streaming is literally like all I have in order in terms of like community. I mean, not that it I that was kind of all I've had for a while, anyways. <laughs> Um, but now it's like for real. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening and supporting. Um, whatever happens, you know, I'm, I know that I'm, I'm going to get through this and I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight like hell to, uh, to get back to 100%, you know? So thank you. It's out.